Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to another episode of Paleo Pines. We're back, and uh, I've noticed this morning that Tangerine is acting a bit strange. This is the first time where I've ever seen a dino kind of just like come out of their pen randomly and just start wandering around. So I'm a little intrigued, and I know Tangerine's been not so happy the last couple of days. So I'm thinking we get Tangerine a friend today uh, because I think that that's what Tangerine wants. So with that being said, um, we're going to do that. But another thing is I harvested all these crops over here. You can see where these big pits are. I harvested all of these this morning. We have one straggler. I don't know why, but sure. <laughs> but I got so many potatoes, you guys. It's crazy. Z. So today we're going to go on a selling spree. It is going to be amazing. I do need to kind of take care of my dinos really quickly because I haven't done that. Let me see. Um, hmm. The thing is I don't have a whole lot of inventory space so I feel like what we should do is we should head into town, sell everything, and then we'll come back and kind of refill my inventory, get everything we need to tame another dino, and then we'll go from there. So I was kind of looking at the wiki and trying to see what dinos would uh, be good with uh, with our, our carnivore buddy. <laughs> and I was not finding any dino aside from the type that Tangerine is, Col Colus the or something like that. Um, so I think we're just going to get another one of those. Uh, I, the other one I could get was a Baryonyx, I believe it's called, and that one was not, not doing it for us. Wow, we have three quests today. Okay, first things first, we need to sell some stuff. So we are going to go in and do a trade. Beautiful. So, I mean, firstly, we're just, oh my gosh, almost 500? All my potatoes, good goodness. Not, oh my god. <laughs> Potatoes are OP. Holy smokestack, that's incredible. Okay. <laughs> um, I was going to go through and sell some other things. Like, we have 55 of these. Maybe we sell... Um, maybe we sell 30. Maybe it's 40 of those. And then maybe our carrots as well. We, we have 70, so maybe we sell 50 of those. And then we have more potatoes. And we have 26, 27, so let's sell maybe 20, sell 25 of those. Oh my, oh my gosh, we almost have $2,000. This is why you don't sit on, <laughs> why you don't sit on your crops, guys. Because they're the big bucks. They make you the big monies. So I need to get a little bit of carno food. We need to get 50 uh, for the T-Rex from Marlo. So there's the 50 we need. Beautiful. Who's hungry? Quest updated. Very, very nice. Okay. That took care of that. Let's go see what Marlo needs. Marlo, what's up? What's going on, my friend? Rise, uh, rain or shine, you're always out with your dinos, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, in the last episode, we found that moon structure. So, I am I need to go ask all of the villagers about it. So, Dapplewood uh, sculptures. Oh, you noticed those, huh? Seems like a lot of folks have. Can't think how they might have gotten there. Maybe I'll check out and take a gander as a professional... As a professional interest, you know, wood is wood. True, they are wood carving, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, we just need to go around and talk to everybody about what these sculptures could mean. <laughs> well, paint me purple and call me a beetroot. What do you need? I actually do need some seeds, girl. Hey, kiddo. Off adventuring again today? Uh, no, I'm more curious about some sculptures. Have you seen those sculptures? Oh, you mean in Dapplewood? I've seen them, but I don't go troubling myself with stuff that pops up like a ghosty in the night. There's stuff around Paleo Pines you folks are too young to understand. I wouldn't be surprised if it was left by some old dino spirit trying to communicate from beyond. 
That definitely sounds very uh, mysterious and kind of spooky. I don't know if I want to deal with dino spirits. I guess in this game they'd probably be pretty nice though, so maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I bet you're here because of the poppin' craving. Nope, I'm looking for a mysterious artist. You, oh, you mean those scu sculptures over in Dapplewood? It is definitely mysterious. So mysterious. A mega massive mystery. I don't think I can tell you anything about it though, can I? Oh, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. But I wish I could, but I can't because, uh, uh, there's a curse on the sculptures? Excuse me? What do you mean? Yeah, a big old curse. That sounds about right. That doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, it looks like Pippin has another quest. Oh, wait, I think this was one. Yeah, okay, carrot seeds. Gotcha. Okay, that was a, a bulletin board quest. Nothing too crazy. Arani still hasn't been in town for so long. Um, did I uh, buy some seeds while I'm here? Probably a good idea. Just so we don't have to come back here if we don't want to. Okay, so I don't have potato seeds at this time. And my plots cater to 16, so I'm going to do that. How much would 16 wheat be? Gosh, that's insane. <laughs> that's absurd. Uh, well, you know, I can at least plant... Maybe we do eight? Oh, not 80. Jeez. That's gonna be 900? Are you? Okay, okay. Let's do four. Gosh, that's crazy. Okay, that, that price is a little questionable, but maybe there's a reason for it. I don't know. Um, anyways, we need to tame a dino today, and we need to go make my dinos happy. I think I've been so excited with all of Dapplewood that I've been kind of not neglecting my dinos because I still like show them love every day and stuff like that but I need to get better at figuring out what they like and their snacks and giving them snacks every day so we need to get on our on top of our stuff first things first though Mari is right here so I'm gonna see if I can talk to her about what's going on so uh, I saw some wooden sculptures a wooden sculpture in Dapplewood oh, yeah there's a couple of those right I wonder how they got there too passing traders do come through paleo print paleo pines from time to time maybe one of the traders left them behind it seems like nobody knows anything i did have another quest there we go got some more some more shells love to see it her utah raptor is so stinking cool i love it but back to the farm we go to see if i can make my dinos happy because they need it okay first things first easiest one to take care of is teddy now i still don't know teddy's favorite food which is really sad because I've had Teddy for so long. I also need to up update Teddy's Dreamstone, but Teddy's happy, has plenty of food, but we're good there. Teddy, you're so sweet. Sweetest little, little peanut in the patch. All right, you guys don't have any poop, but it looks like you're running low on food. Yes, you are. Let me grab my herbivore food out. All right, Lucky and Basil are happy. Pretty easy, so... Lucky likes tomatoes, which I don't currently have any of those, and Basil likes carrots. I do have some carrots. We can, we can give Basil a snack at least. Alright, Basie. There you go. Nice. Alright, so then we just have clovers and cranberries. But I still don't know what Ocean's favorite snack is either. You guys probably need topped off. Uh, not really, but I'll give you guys something something. There you go, bloops. You got that. Here's here's this for ya. Have a blueberry. Blueberry's happy. Let's see, oh wait, is there there is a poop here. You guys were hiding the poop from me. Why were you doing that? Why were you doing that? Come on, Ocean, I wanna give you pets. <laughs> oh my. There we go. Okay, I thought they were loving on each other. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. All right, last but absolutely not least, my little tangerine. Sweet little tangerine. I'm going to go out and find you a buddy today. That is my goal. So I will... There you go. Tangerine is now happy. Good, good, good. I still think that tangerine needs some more pen mates though. So that is a uh, first thing on the to-do list. Now we are going to need another small dreamstone if we're going to tame up tangerine a friend. And I'm also going to take some clovers. I think it was clovers and carrots. And then was it crunchy or was it juicy? It had to have been a juicy poppin', right? It's juicy for sure. 
and super quickly i do want to try to see if i can take um marlo his t-rex stuff too today well, there's there's like literally so much to do the life of a farmer and a dino care caregiver <laughs> is so um not stressful stressful is not the word uh busy just busy all right let's get all these potatoes planted potatoes are our big money maker so this is going to be beautiful if we can get all these going they do take quite a while to grow but i mean you guys saw how much money we made today that was the most money i've ever had in the game so pretty pretty good if i do say so myself i'm really curious uh wheat is a really steep price so i'm kind of wondering if wheat is going to yield quite a bit of money too that's something we're definitely gonna have to figure out in the future there we go wheat discovered i'm kind of curious about about the wheat here Briasia, here we go grassos so soft firm firm soil earth so is this the fertilizer so soft uh depletion soft fertilizer plants with hoe water daily fragrant and earthy okay put those away and then let's grab out a small dream stone we can go put this in tangerine's pen all right tangerine soon you are gonna have a an awesome friend it's gonna be amazing all right, so I think what we're going to do is get on Basil, probably, because Basil's super quick and fast. And then we are going to head out and see if we can tame up one more Colossosaurus. Is this the one with the Colossosauruses? One of these bad boys. Colo Colophysis. Colophysis. That's the one. <laughs> they are herd animals, so this makes sense that, uh, that, uh... That tangerine's feeling a little bit kind of lonely. Herbivore food! Pick up all the herbivore food. So important. Okay, where were those? Those were by Col Colosaurolophysis. Those are in here. Uh, Marnie's house. Herbivore food! Herbivore food! Herbivore food! Herbivore food! Colos Colosaurolophysis. Hello, guys. Uh, you all look like tangerine. Oh, there is a bit of a green one back there. Oh, we definitely want to get that one's attention. I want to differentiate the colors between my dinos just so I can tell them apart personally. So yeah, we have all different kinds. So one, two, three. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, we do know the friend call. So it is... One, two, one, purple, blue, blue, purple. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, awesome. So we're almost in the green zone. Um, what I'm gonna do is soothe because if I feed it right now, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be very excited. We're gonna give it a clover because I'm pretty sure these um, this is Tangerine's favorite food, so I think that they really enjoy clovers. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then if we give them one more, they also like carrots. Which is good. Anything kind of really crunchy is good. There you go, bud. Please be my friend. Come on, come on. You know you want to. There we go. I think that's good enough. It's in the dark green. And we just give a juicy popping on over. Come on, come on. Please be my friend. We're getting... There we go. Okay. I'm, I'm an expert dino wrangler, guys. <laughs> Look at us go. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so this one's green and yellow, and we've been naming them after foods. I kind of want to, uh, what have we named him? Lemon. <laughs> like, lemon. Lemon lime. Lemon. Lemon. <laughs> it's a uh, lemon lime. I like it. It's kind of yellow, kind of green. Lemon lime. I love it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> All right, lemon, come on. Lemon. I, whenever I think of lemon, I think of, like, chips like, um, the Cheetos, Flamin' Hot, or is it Lyman? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's Lyman, it's not Lemon. Lemon, I just named him Lemon. <laughs> Where is my brain actually, though? I just named him Lemon. <laughs> well, welcome, Lemon, welcome to 
I meant the name of Lyman. Like, Lemon Lime. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought Lemon. No, isn't Lemon like a... Isn't it a thing? But I, I seriously just named him Lemon. Like, uh, Lemon is just a fancy way of saying Lemon, isn't it? Uh, anyways, welcome, Lemon. I cannot it's <laughs> so funny to me. Welcome, Lemon. <laughs> this is your new home. Lemon's a super cute name, though, so... I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, too. Do you like clovers? Is this your favorite food, too? Because that would make my life so easy. Of course it's not. Of course. Of course it can't be that easy. Do you like carrots? Yes! Okay. Lemon really likes carrots. Okay, so we have a clover clover lover and a carrot lover. Beautiful. So we have two carrot loving dinos, which makes my life easy because then we can just we can just uh do all the carrots we can. Alright guys, um we need to go head over to Marlowe's super quickly because we got the 50 carnivore food. I also need to talk to Granny in Dapplewood. That'll be interesting. I wonder what she has to say. So we are gonna take a pit stop pit a little bit. Take a pit stop to Dapplewood today. It looks like they're both not here though. Is anybody Nobody's in Dapplewood. Excuse me. Curious if they're only in Dapplewood at certain times now, because this is making me question everything. I really want to find where the T Rex is hanging out. Whoa, this is beautiful. Like a lagoon. Ooh, there's a dino up here. Hello, guys. Look at you. Cute little dinos. There's more amethyst here. I don't think I got this one. Yeah, I didn't get this one yet. Let's uh, jot this down. We do want to collect all of the, all the different artifact kind of things we can. Hey, you guys, you guys are super cool. I do want to come to Dapplewood soon and try to see if we can tame a dino from here. Because we have not done that yet, but I'm not quite sure. There's an artifact over there. How do I even get to that? There's no way I can walk across this, right? Oh, I can. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't assume that I could walk across that, but that makes sense. Ancient tablet fragment. Got another piece of the puzzle. Very, very nice. So the last person I need to talk to is Owen. Uh, Pippin. Why, why is Pippin? Okay, Granny's at her house, though, now, so that's good. We can maybe go talk to her about some stuff. Um, but why is Pippin over at Marlo's house? That's interesting. Where is she? There she is. I thought she had a, like, a quest for us here. Guess not. Oh, diggity. Just notice you got yourself a new steed. Where's Lucky today? Here, have a little treat to take home for the wee munchkins. Uh, and see, they're from Granny Agami. Lettuce! And make sure to try your new ride on the farm, but it's helpful. Very cool. Okay, that wasn't quite what I was, uh, thinking, but that works. So yeah, Pippin's over here, but... Very, uh, very interesting. Okay, so, mm, we do have a little bit of time to spare. I'm kind of thinking, uh, we head on over to the windmill and see if we can patch that up, because I think I brought everything that we need. Oops, we need to go around. I forgot. So we need to go around Granny's house, and then there's, like, a little bridge. That's right. If we go by her crops. I'm slowly but surely, steadily learning everything here. There it is. There is the windmill. Beautiful. I'm really excited to see what this does. I don't know if this like unlocks anything special or or what. I'm excited about it. So let's let's see. So we just need the 50 stone. Restore. That was easy. Just had to you know pick up a couple. Pick up a couple logs here and there. Very good, very nice. Hooray! <laughs> I did it! Dapplewood Windmill. Journal this. Historic place discovered. The Dapplewood Windmill. Wow, it looks so good. They're so cute. Man, maybe we should try to tame one of these uh, as our first dino. They certainly are adorable, aren't they? That'd be super fun. Do I have any uh, inventory space? No, of course not. Actually, wait, I do. 
Because uh, there's a couple mushrooms over here, so I wanted to see. There are mushrooms here, which means makes me kind of feel like if we use an earthy poppin, and then maybe some mushrooms, we might be able to try to tame one of these in an upcoming episode. So, uh, yeah, as long as they like earthy stuff. But it's getting late. Time to head home. I'm going to head back to the farm, and I'll meet you guys there. So I'm going to put everything away super quickly, and then I'm going to try to see if we can do what we can to fill in the rest of the... The, what you call it, the dreamstone for our other little dino over here for lemon. So let's see if uh, we can, if we have everything for this. Do I have the wood? I do have the wood. Beautiful. Uh, I don't have all the fiber. That's the only issue. And then I always forget that it's dandelions and clovers that you need, but all good, all good. Alright, dandelions, clovers just need a little bit more fiber, and then that one is finished and good to go. I'm trying to think, uh, Lucky might have a little bit of stamina left. If we can break down, uh, just get a little bit of fiber, that would be really nice. Oh yeah, Lucky has all the stamina. Beautiful. So, I am starting to run out of ways of getting fiber, and I have a feeling that these big tall bushes right here... I think that these uh, produce fiber, so my uh, plan is to maybe get a dino that can crush those or either crush the logs or crush the bushes because we're starting to run super low on fiber and it would be nice to be able to get that. Did I get? I didn't even get any fiber. Oh my word. Yeah, see, this is, this is becoming an issue, guys. It's becoming an issue. I can't even get to this patch here. But you guys, that is going to have to do it for this episode of Paleo Pines. We had a jam-packed day. I didn't get to give the T-Rex the carnivore food. I don't know where Marlo was. That was so strange. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next episode of Paleo Pines. Of course, we're going to continue our journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you for following along with this series. And don't forget to head up, head don't forget to head down below, hit the subscribe and the like button, and I will see you for more very soon. Have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Bye, guys! Yippee!